Peter, welcome back. Um, last year when you spoke to Blue Notes, we touched on the topics of how digital disruption was going to impact the banking industry. In the past 12 months, we've seen the market explode with banking type organisations offering similar services. In the investment sector, we've seen P2P lending and also crowdfunding um, on the rise. How's the industry as a whole uh, managing this challenge? I think the industry is struggling. I think, uh, by the way, it's great to be back, Phoebe. Thank you very much. Um, I think a year's a long time in digital. And since I've been uh, here last, many things have happened. I would say banks are at a fork in the road. They're either going to become the highly regulated, highly automated, very sort of back-end transaction processing that's going to be very secure, or they're going to be the place for first call for their customers to solve their life events. And all those entrants that you talked about are just sort of nibbling away at the second option. So banks really have to decide what are they going to be. The safe transaction engines that do the back-end processing that might be sold by a retailer or by a search firm or by Apple Pay, or are they going to capture the hearts and minds of customers through meeting their life events. How do banks make that transition and become a market leader in the digital space? They make their customers love them. And the best way I know is to amplify the customer's voice inside the company. So you have to use net promoter score, social media, and all the other opportunities you have to collect insights about your customers and meet those. You also have to do it very efficiently. So banking is not only today about great customer experience, it's also about self-service, low cost, make it easy, sell on your mobile. So that combination of amplifying the customer voice, making the experience terrific and low cost is what banks have to do. Who around the world would you say is doing this really well? Who, who's, who's setting a good example? So there are a number of companies that are great. One is USAA, which is a large uh, American bank that has reorganized itself by life events. So if you want to buy a car or get married or even get divorced, there are a package of products that are delivered to you through a customer experience group that's organized by life events. And that's, among with other things, resulted in a top customer experience. Their net promoter score is 84, uh, whereas the average for banking in the United States last year was 33. Tremendous increase in customers being advocates for them by meeting their life events. So that's one example. Another is to go after a new market. So Guarantee is a bank in Turkey that have just released I Guarantee, which is a mobile app. It's actually a, not a banking app, but a financial coach targeted millennials who actually don't love banks. You know, they want to have something that's integrated into their life. So it's integrated with Facebook. It gives them uh, a number of ways to customize and gives them great advice about what financial decisions they should make. Conceptually, these are all really, really great ideas, but internally, what do you have to do to get this off the ground? You have to have a vision. You have to have a very clear vision of what it takes to be a digital bank or a bank in a digital era. It doesn't have to be a digital bank. Second, you have to get buy into that. You have to get people to commit to it, to adjust budgets, to invest in those competencies, to connect across the silos. And thirdly, and I know this is sort of hard medicine, large organizations will have to do organizational surgery because the way they were designed is usually for the 60s, uh, for pre-digital or just the introduction of digital. So we have to rethink what branches do. We have to rethink how we engage with customers. And so the structures that we've grown up with can't just be added to and tweaked a little bit. They have to be rethought. So in USA's example, they created a new group which is organized by life events called customer experience or member experience is the term they use. That's the kind of surgery it takes. Thanks so much for your time today, Peter. Appreciate it. You're welcome.